Well, alrighty, guys, it is Madman Mondello coming at you live from the Gardendale Garage here in a beautiful Alabama. Lori, Kansas. Okay. Now, Laura came to me. She wanted a custom Xbox. She wanted something with, uh, with laser etching, and she wanted uh, Heartbreaker put on it. Okay, because I guess she's a Heartbreaker. Yeah, I went one step further. All right, uh, I went ahead and, um, you know, it was a plain old black Xbox, and I was like, well, yeah, let's do something a little different. So we did, okay? And what we came up with is we came up with this color scheme right here. Now, this is metallic flake, all right, that we uh, sprayed her with, and we did a couple coats of clear on it and everything. came out really nice, all right? We did her heartbreaker laser etching, and we did her... Heartbreaker. <laughs> so it matches pretty good. We did a uh, modified ROL. Okay, seven color changing fading center. Uh, we did uh, blue and purple ROL. And uh, she's got a 320 gig drive up on the line servers along with a 10 day trial of the Purge for GTA 5. Alright, so anyway, uh, she's all done. She's got uh, programmable addressable uh, LEDs, 300 modes. Alright, and uh, we'll go ahead, we'll boot it right now. And as you can see, yeah, it lights up really, really good, okay? And uh, also, let's see here now, wait a minute. See, and then we have different modes of operation, okay? We have the crazy mode that goes all the way around. In fact, um, yeah, uh, yeah, as you can see, you yeah, different color oil well and all that. And there's the crazy mode right there, all right? We have red, green, blue, white, and then you have your... Uh, then you have your modes where you can do like a fading, okay, and uh, yeah, it gets all nutty from there, okay, as you can see, all right, and we uh, lit it up real good, and there's all kinds of, all kinds of modes on this thing, and make it go nuts, uh, so, you know, I hope that you have an epileptic fit, all right, okay, there you go, okay, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do all that, and let's just uh, leave it red for right now, so as you can see, we got a red, Broken heart, and of course we got heartbreaker. Okay, going across it. All right, now. Okay, Laura, well, I'm gonna set you up over here. Now, Laura didn't know I was gonna paint this thing, but I was just like, you know, I was like, uh, eh, getting tired of black, so we did something a little different there. All right, now, as you can see, she's in the GTA, so there you go. There's a heartbreaker broad right there. Okay. Too bad her boobs are covered, but that's okay. She's got a nice rib cage. All right. Now, tell you what, we'll sync up a controller and uh, let's roll through this, shall we? Okay. Let's see here now. Okay. Under emulators, Genesis Plus 360, SNES 360, and Main. Okay. A complement of ROMs on there. Have a blast if you're into retro. All right. And then, of course, we have Xbox Classic games. We have Brothers in Arms, Road to Hill 30, and Halo. And then, of course, we have our homebrew section. All right. Where we have Dash Launch, XM360, XEX Menu, Xbox 360 Dashboard, Voice Changer 360, Simple Nam Flasher, FX Menu, Flash 360, Back to Dash Launch. And then of course Xbox Live Arcade, a myriad mind-boggling amount of arcade games, okay, that should keep you busy for a long time and then some. And then of course our regular Xbox 360 games, okay. Let's roll through this, alright. We have Advanced Warfare, Tomb Raider, uh, Super Street Fighter 4. Splinter Cell, Sega Superstars, Tennis, Saints Row the Third, Red Dead Redemption, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, Hitman, Halo CE, Halo 3, Grand Theft Auto 5, Gears of War Judgment, Gears of War 3, Gears of War 2, Gears of War, Fear 2, Defiance, Call of Duty World of War, Black Ops 3, Ghost, Black Ops 2, Black Ops, Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty 3, Call of Duty 2, Bold Storm Epic Edition, Borderlands the Pre-Sequel, Borderlands 2, Battlefield Bad Company 2, Battlefield 4, and Back to Advanced Warfare. Okay? To get to your original dash, go to your homebrew section right here. Okay, go to Xbox 360 dashboard, mash the A button, mash it one more time. And as you can see, the UR, hello again, Laura Kansas, you're on Alliance Live, welcome to Alliance Live, you're on dashboard 17544, you currently have 30 reserved days left, got it, good. Okay, now, we will bypass the sign-in, and as you can see, you're up, you're online, you are live, our beautiful eyeball-pleasing HUD, okay, and over in our fifth tab, our off hosts, which are Ghost Cheats and Modern Warfare 3 Cheats. Okay, and to get back to uh, FSD Dash, smash the A button on Xbox Home, and that will take you back. All right. Now, okay, 
Uh, another thing, or when you get this thing, uh, what you, what I want you to do is I want you to go on XboxLive.com, make yourself a uh, profile, modest profile or whatever. Don't use your original one, but I mean you can. I haven't had profile bands in God knows how long, okay? But just in case, you know, make a modest profile and then add your stuff to it and everything else and download it to the Xbox, okay? Now, okay, here comes the important part now, all right? The deal here is, is that when you have to get it on your network for the first time, all right? So we're going to power this thing off, okay? And then what we're going to do, all right, is before you power it on, when you get it, what I want you to do, I want you to open the drive door, and then I want you to pull the hard drive out, slips right out, place it up there, all right? Then, okay, I want you to power the console on. When you do, you're going to come to the Xbox uh, Blackboard screen, the original Xbox dashboard. No fancy dashboard or anything like that. I want you to slide to the right. Go to System, go to Settings, go to Network Settings. Once you go to Network Settings, okay, what I want you to do then is I want you to go ahead. I want you to click on that, and it's going to scan for your Wi-Fi, uh, your Wi-Fi access point. When it finds it, okay, what you, what's going to happen is, is it's going to put it up there. And then you're going to click on it, put your password in like you would a normal Xbox, okay? And then it's going to initialize the test. It's going to check mark off LAN, okay? It's going to it's going to fail on Internet, and it's going to fail on Xbox Live. Once it completely fails, okay, I want you to shut the system down. Then, once you shut it down, I want you to take the hard drive, I want you to slip it back in. See, it's with a click, just like that. Okay, put the drive door back on. Pull the power supply, Okay. Leave that power supply sit for about three to five minutes. What I want to do is I want to discharge the capacitors. I want to clear the south bridge. I want to get rid of all the nasties and all the junk and everything else that's in there. Okay. Now, after three to five minutes are up, then take the power cord, plug it back in, power it back on, and you'll be good to go. All right. Well, Laura, I really do hope that you like it. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's kind of a labor of love on this thing. I, uh, you know, went a little nuts, yes. And, uh, yeah, also, uh, just to show you, yeah, the underbelly is too, okay, everything's all good, all right, you know, and it's a texture, it's a texture style paint, um, you know, and it's, it, it blew some pretty big metal flake, let me tell you, it looks really, really good, so, anyway, listen, thank you so much, okay, I greatly appreciate it, we're going to be shipping it off on Monday, Lorraine will have a tracking number for you by Monday evening, okay, I hope that you like the etchings that I did, okay, and, uh, you know, listen, enjoy it, have fun with it, alright? Thank you so much. Guys, you all have a good one. I'll let you later. I'm on to my next one, okay? Another custom. This one's for Mr. Stone. So anyway, you all have a good one, guys. I'll let you later.